witness the animation of the poem. Now, I request you to open the textbook and have a pen and notebook for writing down the notes. The heart of the tree, the title of the poem, is a metaphor. The poet compares the tree with the heart of a human being. Heart is the most important organ of a human being that transmits blood and other nutrients all around our body. In the same way, the trees maintain life on earth. Thus, trees are responsible for life on earth. They cause rain. They provide us food, shelter, medicine and wood for furniture. Thus, trees are very, very important for us. And through this poem, poet asks us to plant more and more trees to protect the earth and save our life. Now, let's begin the poem. The poet asks a question to everyone in general. What does he plant who plants a tree? What does the man plant who plants a tree? And here the poet answers the same question. He who plants a tree plants a friend of the sun and the sky. He plants a friend of the sun as rays of the sun are essential for photosynthesis and the tree is a friend of the sky as trees purify the air they cause rain the trees take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. Thus, it purifies the air. Therefore, trees are friend of the sun and the sky. And the third line of the poem, he plants the flag of breezes free, the shaft of beauty towering high. Shaft of beauty the body meaning shaft of beauty. Shaft means being, race of beauty. That is to say, the trees beautify the earth. He who plants a tree plants a flag that is that flutters in the gentle breeze and beautifies the entire plain and the earth. And the next line, he plants a poem to heaven a name for song and mother womb of bird. Heaven here means sky. A name means near, close by. And mother womb of bird, the soft song of the bird. He who plants a tree plants a home for the birds, for their nest, for them to rest, sleep, breathe, and play. And mother birds sing song to song to the young ones happily from there. Thus, the temple of heaven's harmony, these things he plants who plants a tree. The song of the bird, 
He is heard in the silence and happy to light. And that adds to the music of the universe. That adds beauty and harmony to the universe. Tumble means high-pitched notes. High-pitched notes. Next, the next answer. What does he plan? Who plants a tree? He plants a cool shade and tender rain and the seed and butt of days to be and years that fade and flush again. Again the poet begins with the second question, the same question. What does he who planted a tree plant? And the poet answers the question by saying, he who plants a tree plants a cool shade for birds and animals. Trees provide us shade and shelter and tender rain. They cause rainfall. And next line, third line. Seed and bud are days to be and years that you fade and flush again. The trees will bear buds and seed that will grow into trees and then when the big trees wither away the seed will grow into another tree and the forest at large then he plants the glory of the plain he plants the forest heritage he who plants a tree plants the glory of the plain. He beautifies the plain with the trees that he has planted. He plants the forest heritage. He who plants a tree plants a heritage, a tradition of planting trees. He inspires his children are others to plant the trees. Thus, he becomes an inspiration for people around him. The harvest of coming age, he who plants a tree, plants a harvest, a crop for the coming generation. It is true. The man who plants a tree may not enjoy the fruit of the tree, but the fruits will be enjoyed by his children. It takes time for the tree to grow big and produce fruit. It takes years of time and he may not have the fruit of the tree, but his children will enjoy the fruit of the tree. Therefore, he who plants a tree plants a heritage, a harvest for the coming generation. Next, the third stanza. Again, the poet asks the same question. What does he plant who plants a tree? Yes, what does a man who plants a tree plant? He plants in sap and leaf and wood, in love of home and loyalty, Farkas thought of civic good. And the boy tells, he who plants a tree, plants food and furniture for the mankind. Because trees provide us food, maybe in the form of fruits, leaves, wood, and so on. Thus, he who plants a tree, plants food and furniture, shelter, etc. for everyone. He who plants a tree, love
loves his family, his society, and the world at large. He is loyal, he is faithful to his family, to the world at large, and he thinks about the common good of everyone. He foresees the welfare of everyone. Forecast means foresees. Civic good means common good, common welfare. Sap means liquid in a plant. Thus, he who plants a tree foresees the general good. So he becomes a blessing for his neighbors, for the people around him. When we plant a tree, the fruit of the tree is enjoyed by all the people around us. And then the poet tells, who in the hollow of his hand holds all the growth of all our land? A nation's growth from sea to sea stirs in his heart who plants a tree. He who plants a tree holds the progress of the nation in his hand. He contributes for the economical growth of the country. Maybe in the form of timber and the furniture, medicine and so on. Thus, he contributes for the growth of his nation. He who plants a tree, excites, stirs his heart for the welfare, for the growth of his country and the world at large. So you here we find the contribution of a man who plants a tree. Trees are very, very important. They protect us. They save our life. And they provide food, shelter, and everything for us. So through this poem, poet urges us to plant more and more trees to protect the earth and protect the our life. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Give your feedback and don't hesitate to ask any doubts.